Okay, so we open up the two files. We open up this one, the Grand Canyon Final. It's going to be our example of where we're heading to. And we open up this one. Okay, and we can maximize this by double clicking on the hand tool. And we want to notice that the background is transparent. And you know that from those gray and white checks. So we want to create a white background layer so that we can see a little bit better. So we're going to come here and we're going to click the bottom of the panel, create new layer, and we're going to name this white, white background. Okay, uh, drag the white background below the drawing layer. Actually, it doesn't have white in it right now, um, so we need to get white in there. And you can see that this background color is white. And if you remember ABC, A stands for the first one, which is foreground, and B stands for the backspace key, and C stands for control. And it's contr I want to press and hold control to put the background color in there. Press and hold control, backspace. And the white background is now filled uh, with white. Okay, and now we're going to drag it below this layer. And now it's below. Make sure your default colors are set. So you can press the D key and these colors will go to black here and white and if if it wasn't true you can, if you don't know the shortcut you can also click this little icon to set your default colors okay uh, we have filled our background layer with white already and we want to lock this layer this white background layer so we're going to click here and then we're going to make drawing we're going to make this the active layer. And now we want to fill some objects here like this cactus, but if there isn't a line across here, this is an open path, so it's not easy to fill. So the first thing is that we are going to close off the bottom of the cactus. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to actually go and get the pencil tool. So the drawing layer is active. We're coming here and clicking and going to get the pencil tool. And, uh, you know, one or two pixels is, is an appropriate size for this. But just know that, uh, I'm going to click down here, just know that we can use the right bracket key to make that pencil size bigger and the left to make it smaller. Right, left bracket key on the keyboard, right bracket key. And then we are going to close the bottom of the cactus. Okay, now I could have zoomed in to do that, but you can do it a little bit more carefully. Okay, and also we're going to uh, draw the horizon like they show on the picture. So the picture we need to close off the rise in here and keep going over here. Now I could hold the shift key, which constrains it to a straight line, but you know the horizon's not always perfectly, perfectly straight, so that's good enough. And that completes our white, black and white outline drawing. Before we begin painting, we want a layer to paint on, so we're going to create that next. So we're going to get a new layer and we are going to rename it painting. Whoops, I, that, I got this box because I wasn't right on the text. So this is painting layer. And uh, so we don't accidentally paint on the drawing layer, we are going to lock it. But now we're going to make selections from here, but we're going to paint on here, so you need to remember that. So we're on the drawing layer 
right now and we're going to select the coyote. So we come over here, we're going to go to the magic wand and we're going to click in here and we're going to click into the tail and of course I didn't put add on so I need to go and make sure in the options bar that I've got the add. Now the coyote's body is selected. I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool here and I'm going to open up the swatches according to this and find a brown swatch. So here's a brown swatch. Now interesting, it put it here in the foreground although <laughs> one day it, if it puts it in the background you're just going to switch it but it is in the foreground so we can paint a few areas over here with our brush. Now we have to go to the painting. Do you see how we're getting no can do right here? Okay, we have to switch to the painting layer because that one's locked. That's why it's not letting us. Okay, I'm going to make this a bit smaller and just put a few little strokes in there just because it says what, what we want to do just to learn is to know that we can change the opacity here and draw a few browns in here. We can even come and, and switch up the brown and add, you know, some different browns. Now we don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines. Yeah, because, well, because it's selected. Okay, so we have this selection here. So we've reset the colors and the opacity and now he is done. And now it says to hide the selection. And don't forget that you've hidden it because in this class we have forgotten. So control H, it hides the selection, but it's still active, okay? We're just hiding it so that we can see when we come to filter here and come to blur, Gaussian, it just lets us see what's happening a little bit more. Okay, so if we put the radius up, it's going to give more blur. So I'm not going to play around too much. I'm just going to say OK. Now, that step is done. It reminds you on the handout to do Control H to unhide the selection. And if you forget this step, you're in for a lot of heartache. Okay, and then we're going to deselect the coyote. Okay, and then now you'll change the order of the layers so the black outline of the coyote appears on top. So it tells you drag this layer below this layer. And I don't know that it made a huge change, um, but that's what it told us to do. And next we're doing the mountains. So we're going to the mountains. We need to um, be on our painting layer. It's active. We want to pick a color. Now, we can come over here and you can copy those colors or not, but basically there's a few different colors happening in the mountains. So you're going to come over here. You're going to just pick an ordinary old um, brush here. It doesn't say soft or hard. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I think most people use a soft, so we'll use that one. Now it actually tells you to append the wet media brushes onto here, which I believe I already have done. So because I've already done this, just to show you, I'm going to reset my brushes back to the default. Okay, so you can see, take a look, it comes down to this 45. And now I'm going to come to the wet media brushes and append them. And after this, now you can see that these are all wet media brushes. Now it doesn't really tell us which one to use. And there's all different ones. So I'm just going to pick this one, watercolor heavy pigments. 
Okay, I'm going to pick that brush, and then I'm going to go here to the brush panel, and um, so now you know we can, we can always get back. Now this is the same one. which one we've got set on there. But what I'm interested in is coming here and putting putting the wet edges on. And you can see in the preview, wet edges usually layers a little bit more paint at the edges, just like you you're painting watercolor paint. Okay, so so we've got when we chose this media brush, it it's put on wet edges for us. Um, okay, so we've got to keep that on. And we're going to close that. Okay, so now we get a color that we want. Actually, I better follow this. Uh, so we pick a foreground color that we want. Let's just say we want to do something kind of in the purples. And for one of the mountains, again, use the left bracket to size that. And we can paint the mountain. And you can see that when I release and go over, we, we get a little bit of that watercolor effect. And I would, I would want to, I would probably, I don't like to erase after I'm probably going to stain the mountains. But I could go back and erase after. Anyway. You are going to do that three times and do an awesome job for me by changing this color and picking some different colors and painting in the mountains. Okay, so that's the mountain section. Okay, so you, you do that. Everyone's is going to look a little bit different depending on what brush they started with. Okay, uh, now in this case, it's just saying in step 10 that you can go, if you've put any outside and erase those pixels, you know, if you zoomed in and you, you went outside, you could go to the eraser, again, you need to, okay, and you could erase those pixels, okay, double click here again, and now, um, and they advise, if you're erasing, make sure you use a hard brush, because if you use a soft brush, you're, you're going into, so if we go to the eraser, just make sure we have a harder brush, so that you don't uh, go beyond. Beyond the pixels that you're selecting on. Okay, so the next is the cactus. So we're going to use the paint bucket tool. Now my video is going to end at 15, so I'm going to finish this one and do a part two. Okay.